Today I'm sewing and sharing an easy DIY bag. I will include the dimensions of all your pieces so you can sew this all up with no pattern needed. This is a fully lined cinch top bag with boxed bottom corners. I have mixed fleece and cotton here using remnants from previous sewing projects. You can make this from medium weight wovens or stable knits or a mix of both. Let's get started sewing this cute and practical everyday bag. Cut your main fabric to measure 24 and a half inches by 12 and 3 quarter inches. And cut a piece of lining the same measurements. Cut two straps to measure 27 and a half inches by 2 and 3 quarter inches. And cut two strips of 3 eighth inch wide ribbon measuring 31 and a half inches each. Fold your strap in half right sides together and pin the long edge. Sew all the way across this seam with a 3 8 inch seam allowance and do this for both straps. And then turn your straps right side out. Place a marking for yourself 3 and 1 8 inches in from the edge of your fabric on the short edges of your main fabric. I've just used pins here as my indicators. Now grab your strap piece. The seam of your strap should be right in the middle of the strap. Place the right side of the strap that has no crease, right sides together with your main fabric, and pin on the inside edge of the mark that you made. Do this for both sides of your strap, making sure that your strap is not twisted from side to side. Now grab your lining fabric and place it right sides together with your main fabric and pin along this entire short edge catching the straps in between. Follow the same process for your other short edge. Now sew both short ends with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Now shift your fabric so that you're folding your main fabric in half so that it's right sides facing and so that the lining now is also folded in half right sides facing. Line up your seams and pin in place. Now we're going to sew both of the long seams with a 3 8 inch seam allowance, leaving a 3 inch gap in our stitching that will be 1 and a half inches from both sides of the seam. I've made some marks in chalk for myself so I remember where to stop and start my stitching as I sew both of my side seams with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. <laughs> Now we're going to box each corner of the bottom of our bag. Manipulate the fabric at the bottom of the bag to form a triangle. Draw a straight line across your fabric at the point where your side seam meets the edge of this triangle at one and a half inches. And do this on both sides. This will be our stitching guide as we sew across the bottom of each of our four corners. Now trim each of these corners to leave about a quarter of an inch seam allowance. And then using one of the openings in our stitching, turn your bag right side out. Now that our bag is right side out, we're going to top stitch the openings for our drawstrings. Fold the material of the lining and main fabric on both sides of this opening to the inside by 3 8 of an inch. And pin in place on both sides. And then sewing one side at a time, sew from that intersecting seam of your main fabric as pinned all the way to this intersecting seam of your lining fabric. And then repeat on the other side of the opening. So now I've top stitched both sides of that opening so that we have a clean opening all the way around. And now you can turn the lining to the inside of your bag. Now pin across the top edges of both sides of your bag. And now we're going to do two rows of top stitching for both of these top flaps. First row of top stitching will be 3 8 of an inch from the top of your bag. And the second row of stitching will be one and a half inches from the top of your bag, which should match up with where your side slip begins on either side. Go ahead and do those two rows of top stitching for both sides of your bag. Now we just have to draw our ribbons through the tops of the bags and we'll be done with the bag. If the short edges of your ribbon are prone to fraying, 
you can just fold them in on themselves by about a quarter of an inch and a quarter of an inch again, and then top stitch that edge in place for a clean finish. Then attach a safety pin to the top of your ribbon and draw it through one side of your bag to the other. Do this on both sides. Now tie the ends of the ribbons together in a knot, and then you're ready to be able to pull your drawstrings to gather the top of your bag. Another option is to use drawstring cinching hardware on both sides of your strings. Just cinch them together so that you don't have to tie your bag in order to close it. And now your bag is all done and ready to wear. Thank you for watching this sew along. Make sure you subscribe for more videos and sewing inspiration. I'll see you next time.